Hey church, it's Pastor Gage here bringing you today's daily devotional. I want to start with a question today. Do you ever feel lost without a sense of direction? Like you want the will of God spoken into your life, but you're just not sure where to go or what you're supposed to do next. Well, I want to read to you a little bit from the book of Isaiah today. And it's never popular to be a prophet, but maybe even more so in the case of Isaiah. See, the circumstances in which Isaiah found himself called to be a prophet of God was this, that the kingdom of Judah was under threat of invasion, that, uh, that well, although that was going on, they were confident in their king. King Uzziah was a strong king, uh, but he got sick. He got leprosy. And as we're very familiar with today, when you got sick, you had to quarantine. You had to isolate yourself. And so and that's what happened. He was un, unable to fulfill the responsibilities of, king, of kingship. And so his son took over. And his son was not a strong king. And, and so there's this, this unrest that's going throughout the kingdom of Judah and uh, this level of uncertainty. What's going to happen? Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be, is this the end? Are we going to be obliterated? And, and Isaiah speaks into the heart of the people and he says, no, we are not going to be people because God is faithful. God is true to his word. And he has said that he is going to make himself known through us. And for that reason, we're going to be okay. You know, we're, we're going to, uh, get this figured out. And so I want to read to you a little bit of, of what Isaiah is um, conveying from God to uh, the people of Judah. And in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 14, we read some really depressing words. It says, you're going to be smashed like a piece of pottery, shattered so completely that there won't be a piece big enough to carry coals from a fireplace or a little water from the well. It's really depressing. He's saying this because the people uh, of God have chosen time and time again to turn away and live lifestyles that are contrary to what God wanted from them. But thank God that there's good news. And in verse 15, we read this. This is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says, only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. Man, that's so good. And for those of us who we're just feeling like we need some direction. We need to know what the next step is. This is what happens. This is what we need to do. We need to rest in God. And what happens, Isaiah tells us next in verse 21. When we do this, when we rest in God, when we turn to God, your own ears will hear him. Right behind you, a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether that be to the right or to the left. Church, if you find yourself today wondering, what is this next step I'm supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go next? Would you spend some time resting in the comfort of our Lord today, who is faithful in his promises that will make himself known through our lives and through our service to him? We need to just rest in him, and we're going to hear. We're going to get the next direction if we would just listen. I'm praying for you, church. I love you. Until next time.